Good morning and welcome back to Take It Slow Homestead. I'm Carol and today I'm going to be working in my garden again. Um, it's going to be a productive day, I hope. I got up a little bit earlier, yay! It's hard to try and cram everything into the summer. Summer is my favorite season and I just I like to be outside, I like to do things inside. So, it's a challenge sometimes to get everything in that I want to. And sometimes I need help. This summer, my grandson has been working for me and he has done a fantastic job. We've been able to get a lot accomplished between the two of us. He's a hard worker, he's a fast worker. And so today I'm gonna to show you some of the other projects that he's been working on. I will show you a few things he's been helping me with that I really appreciate. And also my granddaughter has been helping me with harvesting some things. And uh, she has started her own YouTube channel. It's called Anya Lasagna. And she is excited to be sharing a little part of her life with all of you her intelligence and her wisdom. <laughs> She's a real smarty. I asked my son, how did she learn how to make her own video? And he said, nowadays kids are born knowing how to do things like that. So I think it's great. She's having fun with it. Hope you can make it over to her channel and give her a thumbs up and she wants some ideas on what videos would be good for her to make. She's very talented. She can do a lot of things. So, go see Anya Lasagna. <laughs> Today I'm going to be pulling some weeds because even though all my vegetables have, have been flourishing, so have the weeds. So, come along. This is my grandson, and he's helping me again today. Yay! I love it, and he does great work. He's pulling some weeds right here in the Big Dreams garden. And these weeds are, I don't really know what these are called, but if there's a plant growing where you don't want it to grow, then it's considered a weed. I do know that this one, I think this is the one, Lamb's Quarters. So that's our weed challenge for today. My grandson gave me a good idea. These are Hubbard squashes, Hubbard squash plants. I pulled one out a day or two ago. There were four of them, now there's three. I was worried that they may be too close together in order to get the nutrients and everything that they need. So my grandson had a brilliant idea to make the basin wider. And so when I fill up the basin, there will be more concentrated water in the area of their roots and they'll be able to reach out even farther and uh, receive more water. If the picture seems to be wiggly at off and on right now, it's because there's a crazy fly. It keeps landing on my hand. Okay, I think it's gone. Sheesh, I guess it's fly season, right? In order to make this basin bigger, I'm going to use one of my favorite tools, this hand stirrup hoe. Okay, I got the Hubbard squash all 
situated a new basin filled it with water the water broke through the dam right there <laughs> had to hurry and fix that so they will be super happy now and they will make many wonderful Hubbard squashes for me fingers crossed I hope so now my grandson is pruning this cherry bush so that hopefully next year we get plenty of cherries on it. The birds are very familiar with this bush so we're hoping they don't get all of them next year. This bush was starting to encroach upon a small ornamental bush that I have right here. Let me move these flowers out of the way. He's trimming everything away from this bush so that it can flourish. That'll be great. These are the flowers that were in the way. I don't know what these are called. If anybody does, leave a comment. Interesting. These are from wildflowers that I planted here. There's some more. Bachelor's buttons. Wow, look at that. So pretty. Today we're digging up the garlic and my granddaughter is here with me and she's going to help me. So let's see what we can get. So far we've dug up four of them and they make a funny sound when you tap them. Can you hear that? They kind of sound hollow. Wow. All right, here we go. Sometimes you need help in the garden. Okay, I'm going to loosen these and she's going to pull them up. And shake off the dirt. Wow, they're looking pretty good this year. Even better than last year. We plant them. We plant them in the fall, like in October. And we harvest them when they're ready, when they're all dried up. Oh, there's an onion. We pulled up an onion while we were at it. Another onion. Would you like to push that dirt back in the bed? Awesome. Just gonna put the shovel right there for a minute. Well, this is a lot of garlic. Right here is another row of garlic, and we're going to dig those up also. We'll move these out of the way a little bit. Oh look, there's some purslane. Do you want to pull that up? Lay it on the bricks here. Sometimes you just have to weed as you go. And we're getting some purslane out of the ground because we don't want that. Okay, that's good enough for now. Okay, here's the row of garlic here. Down we go. And pull it Whoa. up. Can you shake that loose? Good job. Dig. Oh, that was not hemming, huh? Now I think it will. Oh, that's big. Whatever. More over there on that side. Oh, is there? Mm -hmm. This is so small. Yep, some of them are small. There's that one. Whoa. Whoa. Big one. Oh, this this one's so tiny. tiny. Yeah, that one's small compared to the others, huh? Okay, here's there's another three. small one. Yep. A few smalls, but most of them are pretty big. Here's those. There's another onion. <laughs> Funny. All right. You know what? I think that's 
that's it. Except for this one right here. There's that one. And another onion. Okay. Good. Awesome. Well, this is what we harvested this morning. But I need to tell you that first of all, we harvested some green beans and some yellow beans. Yep. And my granddaughter helped me harvest those and separate those into their two different colors, green and yellow. Mm -hmm. And I also had a damn. different variety of the green ones that were long and straight. So we separated those out. So that was fun uh, to get those beans. And there were quite a few of them. Would you like to run in and get the colander and we'll show the beans? Okay. She'll go get that. And it's so good to have help occasionally in the garden when I'm doing things. This morning it is pretty warm. We waited too long actually to come out and work in the yard and we're almost ready to go back in. But it is nice and warm slash hot. We got some things done anyway. Let's see what these beans look like. Got them? Uh -huh. There they are. Aren't they beautiful? There's skinny ones. There's other regular looking Oops. ones. It rolled over a little bit. Okay, yeah. We're trying to keep them separate just for fun. And there's yellow ones. So here's what they look like. First year, we've ever grown the yellow ones, so it's been really fun, mm -hmm. and they're delicious. And then after we did the beans, get your hands clear full and lift them up <sighs> and do this. We got all these garlics. Bring them over here. All these. Now these. Yep, all these. So a great garlic harvest. Uh, so the other day I did a garlic video with the garlic scapes and now I've got the garlic bulbs so I'm going to have to decide what I'm going to do with those. In our endeavor to dig up the garlic, we ended up with, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six. So a half a dozen onions. Do you want to hold it up close? Okay. So there we are garlic and onions. All we have to add is a little bit of hmm, some kind of delicious meat and some other vegetables and we will have ourselves a feast. Why are the roots like this? Oh, they just are. Roots are long and out. skinny so they can reach down in the soil and eat up the nutrients that are in the soil and bring them up into the plant. So the plant can grow well. That's why we have roots. Interesting, huh? But it looks like tomatoes being scooped up like this. Oh, that's a funny one, huh? <laughs> looks that's like it's a, scooping up noodles. Yeah, it looks like a scoop or a ladle. It's funny. Okay, come over and stand in. Okay. So here we are, the grandma and the granddaughter. <laughs> and both of us like to work in the yard, right? Mm -hmm. And so. And my granddaughter wants to have her own YouTube channel someday, and I think she will. And I don't think she should wait very long before she starts. And she needs to decide what she's going to do, and then do it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. that maybe if I get up early every morning and go out in the garden and weed one row like I just did that I would have the weeds under control in no time. Maybe I could even weed two rows in a morning. I know I could if I just make up my mind to do it. I have a lot of weeding to do uh, to give those vegetables the best chance they have in growing. And sometimes I need help, sometimes I don't. I appreciate my grandkids and 
everyone who helps me in my garden and with other things too. It's good to get the help you need when you need the help. So don't hesitate to get the help that you need. Sometimes it's offered to you, sometimes you have to ask, but when you need it, then get it. And remember that even when you take it slow, you can accomplish a lot. Thanks for watching.